Hi friends, this is Sai Tejai Reddy, co-founder at Sai Masters LLP and this is Ahmad Sharif, co-founder at Sai Masters LLP. Today's topic is about international automotive engineering in Inglostad. So anyone who wants to apply for uh, their masters in Inglostad for automobile engineering, uh, there is a procedure called VPD. So usually a student has to apply for VPD in UniAssist, which takes around six to eight weeks. So if you are studying in your seventh semester, you can apply for VPD and you can uh, get the VPD report. But few things I want to explain in detail. Uh, after you are getting your VPD result, you have to apply through Primus portal in Inglostad. So when you are applying for Primus portal, you can check whether you have 210 credits, internships are not valid, you have to do your work experience. So for 30 credits, Inglostad is considering your 8 months work experience as 30 credits. So if you have done in your bachelor's 8 months internship, like let us you have four internships for two, two months and eight months, it would not be considered as work experience. So it can't be considered as 30 ECTS because when we have applied for in, in, through It's My Masters to various students who are in seventh semester with their internship certificates, it's shown as rejected. So the status of the application is considered as rejected. So the university has its own norms and standards. So it is considering only after the degree, the work experience or else your course should have 210 credits or else uh, the application money will be wasted. So think before you are applying for this course that this course has 210 credits mandatory and work experience of 30 ECTS will be considered only for 8 months. And the computation for this course is really very very high. I would like to have a detailed information about how this course uh, is usually uh, having number of seats and how people have been selected. Usually only 50 seats have been provided in this seat. This information is provided uh, by the course coordinator. For uh, a proper reach to the students, I am uh, giving you this information which has been provided in 2022 May. This information is being replied by the course coordinator in 2022 May. So regarding the required bachelor's grade, the student should have a good grade and in the among the 50 places, 10% is reserved for best ranking German applicants. Means 5 seats in 50 is considered for German. And 10% for best ranking foreign applicants. And the remaining 80% are given to the best ranking students independent where they came from. So 5 seats goes to best German students and 5 seats goes to best all around foreign students. So 10 seats got over. Among 40, again they have a formula to evaluate for all the students. How they evaluate is, they create a ranking based system, bachelor's grade 60% and automotive skills and experience 40 percent and they calculate with the 60 percent into your grade plus 40 percent into your work profile experience and they give a grade and they consider the overall grade considering one as the highest and five as the lowest you will be considered for your grade after the conversion so remaining 40 seats will be considered like this according to this formula and this course usually been afforded for 50 places and they provide seats for all the 50 and usually 25 people are being joined. This is the information provided by the course coordinator. When you are applying to this course, the VPD which you are getting is only valid for one year. Please note this point. If you are applying for 2022, the result is valid till 2023. You can apply till 2023 to 24 application. That's all. And without having 210 ECTS, it is waste. And for 30 ECTS, you should have work experience, not internship. So students who are planning for your uh, Inglo start, like technical Hokakshul Inglo start or international automotive engineering course, these are all the things you need to keep in the mind. This is a two stage process. First, you have to apply for VPD and then you have to apply through Primus portal and you have to periodically check about the status of uploaded documents, whether they are rejected or accepted. Once they are accepted, then the application is sent for consideration. Then among all the students, if your profile gets selected, you would be called for the uh, admission. Usually diploma students uh, study more than 210 credits. I have been approaching like two, three times to the course coordinator. The diploma students like in, in India, diploma has been studied three years and bachelor's is studied three years. So total six years they would study and their credits are like more than 210 credits. Even though they have 210 credits, some universities are not accepting. In similar way, English stat is not considering the diploma course in India because uh, when I have applied for diploma students, when I have approached the course coordinators, the course coordinator is not being sure that the 30 hours is considered as one ECTS. So your way of conversion is different from European standards. So this is a criteria where it is debated and discussed. So that depends purely on the professor. So the result has to be awaited. So it can be rejected also. It can't be completely favorable and it can't be completely rejected. That depends upon the professor the course head of the department of the professor. So we have to wait for the result. So while I'm shooting this video, when I have applied till now, it has been rejected. So I am waiting for the reply from the head of the department. And 
the only advantage for this course for the students is like if the criteria is 6.5 let us assume 6 is the ilts requirement if it is 6.5 or if it is a 7 uh, they have given an advantage for the people who have studied the medium of instruction in english in the bachelor's course they would be considered for the admission so this course has that advantage so kindly utilize this uh, advantage for the english start who all want professional service from it's my masters kindly approach us the uh, address and the contact number is given in the description hope this video helps for all the students and this is Sharif signing off bye bye vfs special services so if you opt for sms service stay up to date on the progress of your application with regular sms updates the sms service keeps you in the loop at all the times and sends you an automated message to your mobile phone at a key stages of the application process which means no needless worry no long periods of uncertainty and no wondering about the status of your application. Please note these updates are currently only available in English.